Hey guys, it's Aaron, and today I want to take a look at a functionality of SketchUp 2021. This is 2021. If you're running an older version than 2021, look at the top. If it doesn't say 2021 or more, then this functionality is not going to be available. So you can ask in the comments if it's available in a version before 2021, but I'll tell you now the answer is no. This is a 2021 functionality that we're going to take a look at, and it is tag folders. Let's take a look. Okay, so tags are over here. They have, their, they have their own floating window in Mac. They're part of the default tab bar in Windows. So however you get to them, go ahead and get your, your tags window open. I'm going to turn entity info on as well just to look at these two windows. Uh, so the thing I'll look at here is how tags are. Tags, of course, are the primary way of setting visibility of multiple items at once. I know some people are gonna say, well, I really like Outliner. I wanna turn stuff on and off in Outliner. That's great. Go ahead, keep using Outliner. I have no problem with Outliner, I love Outliner. But this is going to let me control the visibility of multiple items at once without having to hunt through Outliner for each and every one of those pieces. You'll see what I mean right now. So right here, I have this spice rack. I have a whole bunch of different pieces. Uh, each of these jars, if I click on it, double click, you can see it's actually made up of several pieces. I have a lid, a jar, and inside the jar I have those uh, fake spices. So what I did in this model is I took each of those separate pieces and assigned them to a separate tag and then put those tag inside of a folder called spice jars. So if I if I click this, this little this this tag right here has an arrow next to it, that indicates it's actually a folder. If I drop that down, it shows the different tags inside that tag folder. So here I have jars, lids, I can turn those lids on and off, spices on and off. I can turn jars on and off too, but they're, they're mostly clear, so it's hard to see them, but uh, I can do all that. Or I can come up to the folder itself and turn it off, which will toggle everything on the inside on or off. See that? And then I can choose to come in here and toggle those permanently off so they don't follow the by default, as soon as I toggle a folder, the pieces inside are going to follow that folder. I can't really override it, but I can come in and kind of, well, I don't know what you call this, sub toggle, so that once it turns back on, only the tags with eyes are going to actually come back. Okay, so how does this work? So I have a folder here. Down here I have these labels. I put the labels on a separate tag because uh, I wanted to be able to turn them on and off separately. So how do I get that into this folder? Well, it's pretty easy. I grab it and I just drag it up underneath spice jars. Boom, it's now in there. If I want, so right now if I turn this off, look, they all go away. If I want to take it back out, I just grab that label, click and hold, and drag it down so it's past the list of tags that are in that folder and release it. Now it's on the outside. Super, super simple. All right, so I'm gonna grab that, put it back in here. There's my spice jars. Okay, let's let's look at doing this from, from scratch. Here I have uh, my spice rack. Um, I, I wanna put this all on one, but I wanna separate it by my different materials. Uh, I have my plywood pieces, so all these pieces here are plywood, and then back around here on the back, I have these dowels. So I wanna actually put these on separate tags so I control them separately. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come in here to, let's create our folder first this time. I'm gonna say, create a new folder, folder, and look what happened. When I clicked create new folder, it put it inside spice jars. This is interesting because I can actually nest these folders. So I could go multiple layers deep with folders inside folders inside folders. It gives me a lot of options there. Um, I'm gonna change this name to rack, triple click and just call this my rack, we'll call it a spice rack because that sounds more proper. All right, and now my spice rack is inside of the spice jars folder. Again, not a big deal to reorient. All I have to do is click right here, drag it out, and now it's on the outside of spice jars. So when I click new, it is going to place it. Same with a, a tag. So if I am, have spice rack selected and I hit new tag, it's gonna put that new tag into spice rack where I can call it, uh, plywood and then I'll hit new again and I'll call this my dowels okay so they go in there they automatically reorder just like you know like they do when you create a new tag but now they're both under here so now what I can do is I can select 
my three dowels. I can come here to untag, change that to dowels. And now my dowels are on that layer. I can check that by toggling them on and off. Whoops. All right, that looks good. And let's get the plywood. I'm going to grab, actually, I'll make this a little bit easier. Let's turn off all of our spice jars. There, they all went away. Let's turn off all of our dowels. They all went away. Everything that's left is going on my plywood layer, so I can just click and drag now. And I can come here and say, put that on plywood. And now if I turn plywood off, it goes away. And now look what I got. I have two folders. One turns all my spice jars on and off. The other turns all my spice rack pieces on and off. And it's just that easy. Like I said, if I wanted to, so say I wanted to come out here and I wanted to create a brand new one. So this is a uh, spice rack and jars. It's, it's quite a name. Um, but I could grab both of these now and I could put them under spice rack and jar. And that's going to let me turn everything on and off with a single click. Or I can come down here, expand that out and control visibility of individual pieces or by the folder. So I hope you like that. Um, it's really a pretty, it's one of those simple and powerful tools inside of SketchUp. Uh, once you've used it a couple of times, super easy to use. And I like it because it gives me more control over what's visible. Like I said, this is not, this is not saying that Outliner is not useful. Outliner is great. Outliner does, however, depend on nesting groups and components inside of each other to create that uh, hierarchy with tag folders, you don't need to do that. You can just have your pieces and they don't have to be connected together inside of a container to toggle them all at once with a folder. So if you like that, click like down below. And if you haven't already, please subscribe. We create several videos a week around here and you'll be notified of each and every one if you subscribe. Most importantly though, please leave us a comment down below. Let us know what you think of these folders. Uh, let us know what you think of the videos. If you have an idea for a video, let us know that too. We like making these videos a lot, but we like them even more when they're showing something you want to see. Thank you.